Hello folks, this is our old classic question for 2005, May, June, paper 2 and uh, I'm not sure about the question number so when I ordered it, it became question number 4 which uh, later I did not change so anyhow, it is the question connected to electric uh, circuits the first question says define the resistance of a resistor it's the opposing capacity of a resistor expressed in terms of the ratio of potential difference and current according to Ohm's law now the main stuff is over here in a circuit of 7.1, figure 7.1, the battery has an EMF of 3.00 volt and an internal resistance R, which is not stated. Uh, as uh, you are aware that when there is a, a box-like structure which is which holds the the uh, battery uh, cell and the small resistance, it means that uh, this resistance belongs to the cell itself. The resistance of the emitter is negligible; it's a perfect uh, emitter. And the voltmeter has infinite resistance. Again, it's a it's a perfect uh, voltmeter. Actually, uh, it might seem odd, but actually, this voltmeter is uh, measuring the PD across this this resistance. Uh, we can arrange this thing as this also, uh, just for information. Actually, so this is the battery. This is the internal resistance, small r, like this. So uh, this is the emitter, emitter. This is the resistance variable variable like this you can simply arrange the voltmeter as this as well so this connection and this connection they are both same now the resistance of r is varied varied so this thing figure 7.2 shows the variation of the power p dissipated in r in r not here here uh, with the pd difference v across r so as the value of v goes on increasing we can see the power consumption or the power dissipation in this R goes on increasing. It reaches a maximum somewhere around here and then again decreases. So it, uh, it uh, something maximum value occurs somewhere here. Now, the question it asks is, is use figure 7.2 to determine the maximum power dissipation in R. So with this graph, I have to see with this graph. So let me fold it here, you know, fold and place it here. It will be, it will make things easy. So from here, I have to detect or I have to identify the maximum power. So max power is here. So when I go to this like this, so it will be like this. So this is 1.1. Uh, this is 1.15. It should be 1.13. So maximum power is 1.13 watt the potential difference across r when the maximum power is dissipated so we have to find the value of v where this max power happens so it will be it is over here so it will go through like this so it is 1.5 volt so it is 1.5 volt now hence calculate the resistance of r resistance of r uh, when the maximum power is dissipated so we have R is equal to V square by P at the at the at the instance of maximum power. So at the time this V is equal to 1.5 square and the power is equal to 1.13. So when I do the uh, calculations and do the calculations, its value is equal to 1.99 ohm. So it is 1.99 ohm. Now user answers in 1 and 2 so we have to use these data to determine the internal resistance R of the battery so one thing that we I know from here is the value of current at the moment is equal to power by V power by uh, V so I am just talking of the resistor there uh, so that's the equal to equal to power is equal to 1.13 and this V is equal to v is equal to uh, 1.5 this gives us uh, if i do it in the calculator let me show let me do it in the uh, calculator calculator let me do it in the calculator so this gives me 1.13 divided 1.5 equal to so it is so it is 0.753333 ampere so the current that flows through this resistor is this much it means also means that if the current through this is uh, 0 0.75 the current through the whole circuit is the same the current through the whole circuit is the same so now what i can do is 
we have this E is equal to E is equal to V plus I R V plus I R um, our well-known equation so this gives us R is equal to E minus V divided I the value of E is equal to you can see here it is 3.00 minus the value of V is 1.5 and the value of current is 0 0.753333 and so on so if I do the uh, calculation here it will give me divided uh, it is 1.5 like this so that is so it is again 1.99 so this value is equal to 1.99 ohm so I can write here 1.99 ohm now by reference to figure 7.2 it can be seen that there are two values of PDs, two values of PDs for which the power dissipation is 1.05 watts. So it says that there are two values of V for which the power dissipation is 1.05. So when I look at the graph, it seems like, so this is uh, 1.05, this is 1.05 and it occurs at this value of voltage plus 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 it occurs at this value of voltage. So the voltage here is, it is, it is, it is somewhere here. It is 1.1. So this will be 1.12 volt, and the voltage here will be equal to 1.9 volt. So there are two values of voltages where the power is same. So state is a reason which value of V will result in less power being dissipated in the interresistance. So we have to find which will result in less power across the interresistance. So first let us uh, remember that, remember that the current is same, current is same, same uh, across, same through, same through, 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 through both small r and r, and r. So if I have to have less power in the resistance, so if, if a vi is a less, vi is less, then I must have a, uh, sorry, uh, if PI is less, PI is less, uh, it says that power being dissipated in the inner resistance is less. PI is less, I must have, I must have I into VI should be less. I into VI should be less. But I is same across, uh, uh, across the inner resistance also and outside also. So this means that what must happen is this VI should be less. I is same, so VI should be less. VI less means I must have, so from this circuit, if the PD across here is less, the PD outside should be more. So it will be, it will be, it will be, uh, so V should be, should, should be, should be more. So if PI is less, if we want to make PI less, I VI should be less. I is same for all, so VI should be less, which means the outside V should be more. That means that that means among these two values, among these two values, the higher potential difference will result in less power across the interesting. So 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 its value should be equal to from the graph as we identified previously, it's about 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 1.9 volt, or I can even use 1.89. So this is 1.9 volt. So this completes this question.